and that's a view directly overhead uh, this little soon to be generator hopefully just moving around showing some detail you can see a bunch of neos that's near dim magnets it's having trouble focusing on the ball because it's shiny stainless steel ball as a uh, spindle of the motor there one film can full of water to counterbalance the weight of the ball and then we have in fact this doesn't do anything at all just removing a bit get out of the way uh, we have one focus is a problem two three and four square magnets the fourth one that one is shaped you can just about make out the shape of it there it's shaped to clear the ball in fact a view from above shows that that clears it by approximately three millimeters um, it's shaped to curve around the ball the flux at that point is all going one way um, and essentially if you take this and I mean I'm releasing it with a finger so it, it's a bit fake but basically if I release that with a finger it continues past around past the sticky spot and something important to notice is that the this magnet the distance from this magnet to the ball is six millimeters less than the distance from this magnet to the ball and yet they're the same power and further this near dim magnet which is positioned just there on the end of the very technical nail um, uh, the gills level from that is approximately twice what is from the um, large uh, ancient magnets that I salvaged some time ago but essentially you can see that it passes from a much closer magnet to a much further away magnet um, consistently every time so all I need to do now is get a, a bunch more of these or some uh, similar near dims to what I'm using here uh, which I have a, a few more just there but not enough to actually do do the job um, but yeah basically if I take what we've got here and if I run a continuous loop all the way around the outside starting this far away uh, each magnet getting progressively closer up to this magnet here which basically is giving me 6 mil in which to pull this in here um, that will self run uh, there's nothing stopping it it's 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 passing from a stronger power magnet to a weaker power magnet consistently every time there's nothing there's no no trickery involved there um, if you spin it by hand you can see the kick it gets as it passes those magnets unfortunately it's not uh, enough because of the drag back on this magnet it um, it won't go but um, yeah I mean it's the, there are actual sticking spots all over the place in reality there's a sticking spot opposite this little near dim just offset from it due to the flux that's present there there's also a sticking spot here where it won't uh, it won't it won't go anywhere from that point there's also a sticking spot just here um, so it won't I mean it's 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 quite remarkable really that it, it continues to go through that arc with all those sticking spots it's only because the energy it's gained in this part here um, it's root position of those is critical to within one millimeter or less um, it's uh, I mean it's clearly it's passing it passes a magnet which is closer and moves on to one which is further away um, given enough running it'll move that a little bit further around and that's going to be a function of the rest of the magnets which will go all the way around the outside closer and closer and closer and closer and butting up against this magnet but that's for tomorrow and there you go that's uh, that's the first video demonstration of uh, a magnetic flux gate the long sought after thing hundreds of people are looking for and it appears